the light that we light on the table this morning is a symbol of God's presence with us, God's eternal presence. And for those who are worshiping online, we invite you uh, to light a candle if you have one accessible. Uh, Nevertheless, join us during this hour of worship as we offer ourselves uh, to God Almighty. Okay, that is better. I can hear myself now. So thank you. Good morning. So uh, Ecclesiastes 3 reminds us there's a season for everything. And we at Skyland seem to be in the season of, uh, of change and celebration. Uh, we've celebrated uh, Dan's three years as our senior pastor. Uh, we celebrated uh, having our district superintendent lead our worship last week. And today we get to celebrate a new pastor, the Carolina Cross Connection mission team uh, that has just returned from uh, a, a week of service uh, down east. Uh, in the coming weeks, next week, we'll be celebrating Joy's return from her leave. Then there'll be vacation Bible school. And then we'll be celebrating our new uh, youth program leader, our CYMT intern, who will be joining us at the end of July. So we have a lot of celebration uh, upcoming, and we're, we're excited for, for this season, for Skyline. Uh, I want to tell you just a very brief bit about our new pastor before we do our liturgy. Uh, Reverend Joe Tarpley is coming to us from uh, Main Street United Methodist in Reedsville. Uh, Joe's wife is also a United Methodist minister, uh, Veronita Alvord, and she is serving as the senior pastor for Brevard, United Methodist. And so Joe and Veronita will actually be living in the parsonage in Brevard, and Joe will be commuting back and forth to, uh, uh, to lead us uh, as our senior pastor. Uh, both of their, their children, I think, are, are, are grown in college age, but uh, we will we'll be getting to meet all of them uh, as, uh, as we move forward with, uh, with time. Uh, we'll be doing some things that hopefully we will be able to get to know uh, uh, Veronita and that the folks at Brevard will get to know Joe and hopefully we'll do some things jointly between the two congregations as, as we move forward. Uh, hopefully many of you had a chance to, to meet Joe during the reception between services and we'll continue to have those opportunities uh, with, uh, with scheduling some, some home visits and Joe in fact has already started reaching out and doing that and visiting with folks and meeting members of our church family and we'll do that more formally by scheduling some small group home visits probably starting uh, in, uh, in August and we'll have more information about, uh, about that. Uh, we'll be looking for folks who might be willing to host one of those uh, home visits and uh, then we'll have the opportunity for others to sign up to, to attend one and, and be able to meet Joe in a, in a little bit more uh, informal setting than, than during church. But we do have a liturgy that uh, we plan for welcoming our new chapter. So I'll ask Sandy and Joe if you will join me. And the liturgy is printed in the bulletin. Today we welcome Joe Tarpley, who has been appointed to serve as our pastor. Let us pray. Eternal God, strengthen and sustain our ministries together with Joe as our pastor. Give him and give us patience, courage, and wisdom. So to care for one another and challenge one another, that together we may follow Jesus, living together in love and offering our gifts and talents to your service through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Accept these representative signs of our common work together. May the scriptures remind us of our call to proclaim the word. May the water, 
remind us of our commission to baptize new Christians in this place. May the cup and patent keep us in communion with Christ and the church. May the hymnal guide our prayer and our praise. May the book of discipline help us to keep and maintain the order of the church. And may the globe remind us of our mission to the community and the world. Let us pray. Lord God, bless the ministries of your church. We thank you for the variety of gifts you have bestowed upon us. Draw us together in one spirit that each of us may use our differing gifts as members of one body. May your word be proclaimed with faithfulness and may we be doers of your word and not hearers only. As we who have died and risen with Christ in baptism gather at his table and then scatter into the world, may we be one in service to others. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, and may the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace always. Amen. Hymn 90, would you stand please?
Thank you, and you may be seated. Uh, it is good to see each of you today. I appreciate Ned for uh, making the uh, installation part of this service happen, and it is good to be here. Uh, it is good to be with you in this place of worship this morning. I want to just add to, to what Ned has already said by saying that uh, a word that, that I've been thinking a lot about is the word promise or promises. Uh, and as I think about that word, I, I kind of think of other words that uh, are, are similar to that word, uh, like the word assurance, uh, the assurance that things will happen or that something uh, will happen. The symbols that are behind me, the, the bowl, the globe, the, the Bible, the hymnal, the cup, the plate are all symbols of symbols of my trade uh, to a large degree, but they're symbols of, uh, of all our work together uh, as the community of faith here at Skyland. Uh, the globe reminding us that uh, we have uh, this obligation to go into the world the, to, to preach the scriptures that, uh, that are uh, ever before us, to worship together together, uh, from week to week and gather to celebrate uh, our, uh, our commonality uh, as Christ's body. The Book of Discipline reminds us of our uh, obligation, my obligation especially, I guess, to uh, maintain order the best that I can. Uh, at the bowl uh, and the water, the napkin, uh, uh, signs that uh, we are to reach out to people everywhere, that we are to baptize in the name of Christ, and uh, to uh, win people to God uh, in all that we say and do. These are... Signs of assurance, uh, these are, are signs of promise for us uh, here at Skyland. And so I, I want to pledge to you my, uh, my assurance that, uh, that I'll do all that I can uh, to, uh, to work with you and to reach out uh, in every way possible, not only in this place, uh, but beyond these walls uh, and into the community and the uttermost parts of the earth. Also, I'm thinking about the promises uh, that, um, that our young people bring uh, to this community of faith, our youth. Uh, they have just returned from uh, a wonderful Carolina Cross Connection experience, and we're going to hear about that in a few moments. Uh, they are living signs of God's promises uh, in our midst, and so we celebrate uh, what uh, they have experienced, and we look forward uh, to hearing uh, about uh, the good work that they have done uh, in just a few moments. That's all that I have in terms of a welcome. I don't know that that's a sermon. I think you'd know if it was a sermon. Uh, so uh, uh, with that, uh, with that uh, we'll invite uh, Taylor to come at this time, and uh, if we're going to have a children's sermon, we'll do that now, and then the anthem. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, my name is Taylor, and I had the chance to lead a group at CCC last week down in Manio, North Carolina. Um, CCC, for those of you who don't know, it's Carolina Cross Connection, and they have various locations throughout North Carolina and overseas, but we had a chance to do some work, some construction work, some yard work. Um, so I'm going to hand it over to Isabel. She's going to share a little bit more about our experience this week. Hi, I'm Isabel. Um, one of my favorite things about CCC was probably every night when we got back, um, they did something different for worship. Like Monday night, we went to the beach, and that was really cool. And then Tuesday night, they had like a bunch of lights outside, and it was really pretty. But um, all of the counselors were really nice, and both the people that we worked for were also super nice, and um, it was a really good like sense of community 
And that was what I liked about it. Hey, everybody. Um, my name's Beth Herman. I was one of the adult chaperones on the trip with Taylor to Manio. And this, is my, this was my sixth um, trip with Carolina Cross Connection through Skyland um, chaperoning. And for those of you that, that aren't too familiar with this mission trip that we um, have gone on every summer for many years, except for the last two because of COVID, um, these kids are taking time out of their summer vacation to basically go and do manual labor um, and meet with people they've never met before, to sleep in a school with kids from other churches that they don't know. Um, it's a really special kind of mission trip where um, even though we were at the beach, I wouldn't call it your typical beach vacation. So. Um, these kids have, have left their summer vacations to, to, um, to minister with folks that they probably wouldn't um, interact with on their daily lives, in their daily lives. So for instance, we worked with two different um, folks who one needed a wheelchair ramp built and one needed a set of stairs built. And um, you know, these are people who, um, who have special needs that that you know some of us may not encounter in our daily lives, and the kids not only work hard but also take time to sit and talk with these folks, to minister with these folks, um, and they really step out of their comfort zones in a huge way. And it's super impressive to watch our youth do this. Um, we one of the women that we worked with in particular. Um, just had a huge heart for kids, and she she informed us up front that she had some short-term memory issues, so she just referred to everyone as little one, which was really super sweet. And, um, and our kids not only worked very hard on a very difficult project, um, and, and none of us have any background in construction, by the way. Um, we, we not only worked really hard, but they took the time to sit in her home with her and talk to her about her life. Um, she had a very interesting and challenging life. Um, she told us that she didn't get many visitors, so it was, it was so meaningful to her that, that, that these youth would just sit with her and talk with her about um, things that you know, weren't very familiar to them, but they took the time to listen with her and, and learn from her and also minister to her. So it's, a, it's an extremely um, meaningful experience. I would encourage anyone who is a youth or has youth age kids to take this trip and um, you really come away with it, from it with a, a, a sense of, uh, a bigger sense of the world and what people are going through. And um, I'm just super proud of our youth for stepping away from their fun summers to do something really impactful. And um, thank you so much for your support.
I invite you to join me as we affirm our faith using the Apostles' Creed. It's found in the back of your hymnal if you need to refer to it at 881. I invite you to stand also as we affirm our faith using this creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. seated. Let us continue this morning prayer service by offering uh, our specific prayers to the Lord. Oh God, we thank you for this day and we thank you for the joy that this day and each day brings to us. We pray that your spirit would be with us as we go about our various tasks as your church. May your spirit Draw us together and unite our hearts to one another. May your spirit unite our hearts to your heart. We give you thanks, O oh God, for the way in which you work through our world. We're grateful for all of creation and for the beauty of each new day. We pray for the world and for its leaders. We acknowledge that there are places throughout the world where there is discord and where there is strife. Heal, O oh God, the lands of this earth. We also lift up our own country and pray that you would bless us as a nation, bless our leaders, bless those who are in places uh, of service throughout our land and even in our community. Uh, in places where they can make a difference uh, in the lives of people. We ask, O oh God, that you would also look upon your church and bless it uh, with your presence each and every day as you have done so uh, in many years past. We look to you as one who will lead us into the future. 
You are indeed a God of promises, and we pray, O Lord, that we might be agents in the world fulfilling your promises by our words and by our deeds. We lift up the sick and infirm today. We pray for those who struggle in any way and ask for your presence in their lives especially. May they know you as a God of comfort and as a God of healing where their concerns go. We ask, O Lord, that as we go about our regular routine of life in the days that are ahead, you will lead us, that our words and deeds will bring you honor. For we pray all of these things in your name and for your sake. And now as our Savior Jesus Christ has taught us, we're bold to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let us continue our worship by offering to God our tithes and all other gifts for today.
The hymn is hymn 584.
thank you all for being here and for making this hour of worship special and for making it to happen. I appreciate those who uh, are behind me singing. I appreciate the music very much this morning. And thank you for the warm welcome that you've given me today. Uh, if I have misspoken in any way, if I didn't speak at the time I was supposed to, if I messed up the choreography in any way, <laughs> moving from point A to B to C, um, uh, well, uh, let me know gently, uh, uh, but, don't, but don't forget to let me know, uh, and uh, we'll have plenty of time, I believe, to get it right. Uh, and I promise uh, that I'll be back next Sunday. Uh, as we go from this place, friends, be reminded of God's many promises. Be reminded that God promises to be with you always, and that God loves you unconditionally, and that will go with you into the world uh, as you go about your daily lives. Go in the name of God, who is our Father, in the name of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.